Following on from some of our early videos, we are still trying to find out the area underneath this graph. So we are still trying to find out this area. And we've seen in the past that um, if you rotate this 360 um, along the along the y-axis, you will get a 3D solid looking something like looking something like this. Okay, so so remember in the past we we would use this to model our game of golf. So it would it would be us. Uh, so so this is us here. So we would use that to model uh, us playing golf. So the flag would be here. So whenever you're aiming at a, a certain target, this this turns out to be a good model. So we've we've seen in the past that um, well we we would use this to model a, a game of golf. So if you starting with this, if you rotate it 360 along the y-axis, you would get a 3D solid looking like this. And uh, and in the past we've seen that. Um, the volume of this solid here is given by pi, so it's really us summing up all the all the shells from uh, from. So so we've seen this in the past. The volume of this thing here is given by is given by blah blah blah. It's given by by pi. We've seen this in the past. Okay, so hang on. So so um, so starting with this, starting with this, if you rotate it 360 along the y-axis, it will give you this 3D solid. The volume of this 3D solid is given by is given by pi. Now, uh, here's the thing: the 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 we are still trying to find out the area of this thing here. Let's call this area capital Q. Okay. As it turns out, the area of this thing here is equal to the square root of of the volume of this solid here of this 3D solid. As it turns out, uh, Q squared equals uh, equals the volume of this 3D solid. Now, uh, so 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 Q Q Q uh, Q really well the volume here is pi. So therefore Q equals the square root of pi. As it turns out that the the area of this thing here equals the square root of pi. It equals the square root of pi. So it, it is this that we need to verify here. How is it that we we know that the area of this Equals uh, equals the square root of. So how is it that we know that when you square when you square this area here, it equals the the volume of this thing here, which happens to be pi. Okay. Um. We we still need to verify this here. If we can verify this, then we know that if we can verify this, then we know that this area here is the square root of pi. Okay. And and the way the way you verify this here is um. Is by by well in the past we would work out the volume of this by summing up all the all the shells. Well, the thing is, if you if we um, if we work out the volume of this by summing up all these slices, then we can see then we can see why why this here is true. And I will continue in the next video because in short, if um uh, in short, if we can verify this, if we can ver if we can verify this. Then we know that the the area of this thing is the square root of pi, which, by the way, it is. Um, so, so in the past, we would work out the volume of this thing here by summing up all the shells. So it's us doing this. It's us doing this, summing up all the uh, all the shells. So it's really us summing up all the shells. So this here would be our our circumference, and this here would be our height, and so on. We've seen this in the past. We we we. We would work out the volume of this by summing up all the shells, but we can see why this here is true if we sum up all these slices. So, for example, hang on. So, for example, you start out with with this here. If you um, if you uh, so so if you rotate it 360, you would get a 3D solid looking like this. So, in the past, we would we would work out the volume of this solid by summing up all the shells, but if you slice this. If you slice this along the y-axis, uh, yeah. If you slice this and sum up, if you slice this, it would look something like this, okay. And and then if you sum up all the, I will continue in the next video. But basically, um, uh, if so, so you've got your your hang on, you've got your three D, you've got your three D solid looking like this. If you if you if you imagine getting a knife and cutting it along the y-axis along here. Um, I I will continue in the next video. But basically, if you, I will continue in the next video.